So in this lesson today, guys, we are going to go over operations with functions. Um, and some of this is going to be review for you guys. So you can perform operations on functions in much the same way that you perform operations on numbers or expressions. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide functions by operating on their rules. So here we're going to add the function f plus g of x. So we're going to add f of x to g of x. And when we subtract, we're going to subtract g of x from f of x, um, as you can see over here. And when we multiply, we're going to multiply f times g of x. So that's f of x times g of x. And we'll probably use the box for that. And then for this last one down here, um, we would do division by dividing f of, f of x by g of x, okay? And again, the way we're going to do that is we could factor the numerator and denominator and see what cancels out. Or sometimes we're going to have to use synthetic division, okay? So on this first example, we're adding and subtracting functions. So it says given f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 3x minus 6, and g of x is equal to 2x minus 2, find each function. So the first thing it says is we're going to add f plus g of x. So we're going to add f of x plus g of x. So I'm going to use what's called the vertical method to do this. So I'm going to write my 4x squared plus my 3x minus 6, and then I'm going to add to it my other g of x, okay? So I'm going to add to it the 2x, and the minus 2. And, and notice that I'm, 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 I'm lining up my like terms above each other so that I can then combine them, okay? So we're going to, I don't have a common term with 4x squared, so I'm going to drop it down, 4x squared. Then I'm doing 3x plus 2x, that's 5x. And I'm doing negative 6 plus negative 2, so that's going to be what? Negative 8. So that's my answer right there. All right, so the next one, though, we're, we're subtracting. So we're going to do g of x minus f of, f of x, okay? So in the order matters here, okay? It really, really matters, okay? So we're going to take our g of x, which is our 2x minus 2, and we're going to subtract from it our f of x. So this time, notice we, we don't have an x squared term, so I'm going to write 4x squared. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to put a negative 1 out here because I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1, and then I can just add it, okay? So I'm going to put plus 3x here, and I'm going to do minus 6. Now, you could multiply everything by negative 1 first, or you can do it second, okay? So what I'm going to do is multiply everything by negative 1. So I'm going to put a minus there. I'm going to actually make this a minus, and I'm going to make that a plus, because when I multiply everything by negative 1, I change the signs of everything. Now, all I'm doing is adding, because I've changed the sign of everything. So once again, I'm going to bring down my negative 4x squared. This time I'm subtracting 3x from 2x, so that gives me negative x. And I'm adding 6 to negative 2, so I'm going to subtract the 2 from the 6, and that's going to give me 4. So this is the answer. When I subtract f of x from g of x, so remember again here, order matters, okay? So here's our u try. Go ahead and do these, and then come back to me when you're done. So once again, we're going to do our g of x. We're going to add to it our f of x, okay? So we're going to do this vertically again. So our g of x is going to be x squared minus 5x plus 6. And we're going to add to it our f of x. So we're going to add our 5x minus 6 here. So notice what happens to our, our x's and our 6's, right? So they cancel each other out. So um, when we bring it down, we're going to get just x squared because these two cancel out and so do those. So that's our answer right there. So this next one, again, remember, order matters. So we're going to do our f of x minus our g of x, okay? So when we do this, we're going to write our f of x, 5x minus 6 up here. Recall again that we're going to multiply, and we could do this ahead of time. We could multiply all of this by negative 1, right? So that's going to end up being a negative, that's going to end up being a plus, and that's going to end up being a negative, okay? So when we do that, we get negative x squared plus 5x minus 6. Again, you can do it at the beginning, you can do it at the end, you can do it, you can go ahead and change the signs as you're subtracting it. It's really your call how you do it. Now we're just combining, right? Because we went ahead and negated all of the things we were subtracting. So this is going to be negative x squared plus 10x minus 12. And again, that's our result after we subtracted g of x from f of x. All right, so this next one is multiplication So and division. So on multiplication, um, order doesn't really matter with multiplication because it's multiplication is a commutative property. So we're going to go ahead and do, again, our g of x 
So that's going to be our 2x in our minus 3 up here. And then we're going to multiply. We're going to use the box method. So we're going to use our 6x squared here, a minus x, and a negative 12. And I'm going to use the box method here to multiply this out. And hopefully you guys remember this. So 6 times 2 is 12, and x times x, x squared is going to be x to the third. Negative 3 times 6x squared is going to be negative 18x squared. Then we've got 2x times negative x, that's going to be negative 2x squared. Then we've got negative 3 times negative x, that's going to be 3x, because a negative times a negative is a positive. 2x times negative 12, that's going to be negative 24x. And then we've got our negative 3 times our negative 12, so that's going to be a positive 36. So here again, we're looking for like terms, okay? So notice these terms are like terms, and these terms are like terms. So we're going to combine those, okay? So our answer is going to be 12x to the third. And when we add the negative 2x and the negative 18x, we're going to get negative 20x squared. And then we got the negative 24x and the 3x. So if we add 3x to negative 24x, we're going to get negative 21x. And then we got our plus 36. So that's what happens when we multiply those two functions together. Now our next one is division. Order matters here too, okay? So we're going to take our f of x, which is our 6x squared minus x minus 12, and we're going to put it over top of our 2x minus 3. So to do this, um, we need to factor what's in the numerator, okay? So if you remember, I'm going to go ahead and do this up here. So I'm going to put a 6x and a 6x in my sets of parentheses. And then I'm going to think about these two numbers multiplied together. So isn't that going to be negative 72? So what are the factors of negative 72 that add up to be negative 1? Remember, there's a negative 1 right there, right? Okay, so that's the question we want to ask ourselves. So that's actually going to be, sorry, <clears throat> 8 plus 8 and what? Minus 9. When I multiply uh, 8 to negative 9, I get negative 72. Now, there's a GCF in both of these, so we're going to go ahead and divide this one by what? 2 and this one by 3. Now, you can also use uh, the, the um, Miss uh, Reiner's method, but my kids tend to like this better, so this is what I'm going to do. So this is what 2 goes into um, 6x, 3x plus 4, right? And then this 3 goes into 6x, 2x times, and minus 3. Now, notice we have a 2x minus 3 in the denominator, right? So notice what's going to happen to those. They're going to cancel each other out, right? So this is going to end up being, the answer is going to be 3x plus 4. Okay, so now I'd like, um, we're going to talk about this one division as well. So this is another example. So this time again, we're going to multiply, we're going to divide f of x by g of x. So that's going to be 4x to the third minus 2x squared plus x minus 26 divided by x minus 2. Well, if I can't factor this, then I'm going to use synthetic division to do this problem. Okay, so remember, we're going to pull all of our coefficients, 4, negative 2, 1, and negative 26. And then we're going to change the sign of this because we set it equal to 0. So it's x minus 2 equals 0, so x is equal to 2. So we're putting the 2 out here, guys. So remember, we drop down this first term. So that's a 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 1 plus 12 is 13. And 2 times 13 is 26. So we got a 0 remainder. And remember, so when we divided the numerator by the denominator, everything's going to drop down by one term. So it was an x to the third. So this is going to be an x to the second, right? So this is going to be x squared plus x plus 13. So this right here is our answer, guys, when we divide our numerator by our denominator. Okay, let's see if you guys can do these u tries and come back to me when you're done. Okay, so this first one, again, we're multiplying f of x times g of x, right? So we're going to do our x and our 2 here, and we're going to do our x squared 
and our minus 4 there. I'm using my box method again, and x times x squared is x to the third. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Looking again for any like terms, and this one doesn't have any like terms. So all we're going to do then is rewrite the problem. So this can be x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. And that's my answer. All right, now the next one we're dividing again, okay? So we're going to go g of x divided by f of x, okay? So our g of x is going to be our x squared minus 4, and we're going to divide that by x plus 2. Hopefully you know how to factor this, and if not, let me remind you. We're going to take the square root of this and the square root of this. This is the difference of two squares, so over here we're going to say x plus 2, because that square root of 4 is 2, and x minus 2. And that's all over x plus 2. So once again, you should see that we have a repeated factor. So we're going to go ahead and cancel this out, and so our answer this time is x minus 2. All right, so on this one, again, we're going to do g of x divided by f of x, right? So let's go ahead and rewrite that. So that's going to be 3x to the third plus 14x squared plus 19x plus 12, and that's going to be divided by our x plus 3. So what do you think we're going to use? Again, yes, synthetic. So we're going to pull our coefficients again. The 3, the negative, the 14, the 19, and the 12. So we're going to say 3, 14, 19, and 12. And remember, we're going to change the sign of the positive 3 to a negative 3 because we set that equal to 0. So we're going to bring this down. And then 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 14 minus 9 is 5. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And then this is going to be 19 minus 15 is 4. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And you guys remember, hopefully, that if you get a remainder of 0, then it goes in um, evenly, right? Because we don't have a remainder. So once again, remember that we're going to take um, this x to the third right here. I'm going to reduce it by 1. So this is going to be x to the second plus 5x plus 4. And that's our answer. All right, so the next thing we're going over is how to evaluate functions. So when we are evaluating functions, we are going to put the value that's in the parentheses, so that x, this x right here, in for every x in the function. So this, this first one says f of 4 equals x squared minus 10. So we're going to actually put 4 squared minus 10. So that's what? 16 minus 10. So our answer is what? 6. Okay, so all you're doing when it says evaluate is putting the 4 in for the x. Okay, so here again, we're going to put the negative 5 to the third power plus 2 times negative 5 squared minus 4 times negative 5 plus 6. So this is going to be negative 125. And negative 5 squared is 25 plus 2 is 50. This is going to be a negative times a negative. That's a positive. So this looks like it's going to be negative 125, and 50 plus 20 is 70 plus 6, so that's going to be plus 76. And so when I do this one, I'm going to get negative 49 for my answer. All right, so the C, again, we're going to put this negative 7. So we're going to do the cube root of negative 7 minus 1 plus 4, right? So this is going to be what? The cube root of negative 8 plus 4. And if you don't remember how to do this, we just did this, guys. Negative 8 to the 1 third power plus 4. So that's going to be negative 2 plus 4. So the answer is going to be what? 2. Okay? All right, so now I'd like you guys to go ahead and do the next set. Um, go ahead and do these few tries and come back to me when you're done. So on this one, again, we're going to say 3 times negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2. This is going to be 3 times 4 
plus, or sorry, minus 16, because 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. So isn't that going to be 12 minus 16, which is equal to, yes, negative 4. All right, our next one, we're going to do 3 squared plus 7 times 3 minus 44. So this is going to be 9 plus 21, which is 30 minus 44. So 30 minus 44 is going to be a negative 14. All right, our last one. So this is going to be the square root of 6 squared minus 11 plus 2. That's going to be 36 minus 11 plus 2. So that's going to be what? 25, right? The square root of 25 plus 2. So that's going to be 5 plus 2, which equals 7.